time now for our ETF Spotlight. The tech sector is in focus today. The triple Q is underperforming the S&P over the past month. You might have noticed that. Joining us this morning, RBC's lead Internet analyst, Mark Mahaney, covers most of the notable tech names and can cover a few with, with uh, news even today. Mark, good morning. Good to see you again. Good morning, Carl. What do you make? That's before we get to things like Netflix, uh, this overall trend uh, in tech, where does it stand right now in your mind? Where is it going? Well, I think at least in terms of the FANG names, you know, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, these have become very deep consensus uh, longs. Uh, there was really only one debatable stock in there, arguably going into the earnings prints, and that was uh, Facebook, or that's the one that became more controversial afterwards. Uh, there's no question that the, um, that the enth market enthusiasm and market valuations for those names have been, you know, have become reasonably robust. Uh, it doesn't necessarily leave a lot of near-term opportunity. But right now, actually, I think Facebook, uh, given that trade-off, uh, is uh, very interesting. Very, uh, that's our number one pick right here, off this dislocation. I think Google and Amazon gave you affirming quarters, and Netflix gave you a little bit of a surprise. Across the sector, units probably still matter more than anything, more than profits. So if there's a miss in terms of uh, subscribers, Netflix, M uh, monthly average users, Facebooks, uh, uh, the Twitters of the world, Snaps of the world, the market's going to punish those, and quite rightly. So that's kind of where we are. We've got a mixed bag across tech. Generally, yeah. the enthusiasm in the group has stayed, stayed in place, but it's, there's a bit of a mixture going on. On, on this uh, Facebook dislocation, as you put it, uh, 181, 182 now is a far cry from 166. Do you see it reclaiming? Uh, what, what was it, 217? Yeah, I do. Uh, that, that's, uh, I think, the risk-reward on this. Look, you're close to a market multiple on this name, especially if you X out the cash. I think these investments that the company is making, I think they've been somewhat misun misunderstood by the, the street, by the market. Uh, what this company is doing is building moats around its business, and they are now going to start monetizing the two largest messaging applications in the world with WhatsApp and with Facebook Messenger. Those are huge profit pools this company is just starting to uncover. And I think the core Facebook ad business is doing just fine. So I think the market it way overreacted to the print uh, and to the, some of the guidance commentary by the company. I think it's the most appealing risk reward name in large cap, maybe in tech, but certainly in internet. Mark, when it comes to WhatsApp, does that see Facebook move towards a subscription model for parts of its business versus advertising? Uh, and if that does happen, can it alter the multiple that people apply to the stock uh, when you consider what Netflix is on? Uh, so with, with WhatsApp, uh, that's uh, it's a good question, Wilfred. I, I don't know. I'm not sure the company knows yet. What they do know is that their core competency is advertising. They've become very good at figuring out how to insert ads, uh, well-targeted ads, into people's conversations, which is essentially your news feed or your storyline on Instagram or on Facebook. I think they can take that same concept and apply it to WhatsApp. And they're already doing it just at small scale with, uh, with, face, with Facebook Messenger. So I think my guess is that it's going to be almost entirely an ad-driven model, but they may, not be, they may still be iterating but, on that business model for another year. But, but Mark, SMS is an immediate uh, alternative to WhatsApp. I don't think any of us would put up with advertising around one and you just switch to the other. So surely it's got to be subscription. Uh, you know, you may be right, Wilfred. I'll take the other side, though. It depends on how the advertising is presented, uh, if it's relevant to people and if it's not overly intrusive. So it's got to be effective advertising. Uh, and I, by the way, I think most consumers are willing to make that trade off a free service. They're willing to take uh, 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 put up with ads or encourage ads or welcome ads that are really, truly relevant to them. So we'll see. I think uh, I think there's we're still early in, the, in terms of experimentation. But what we've seen mm -hmm. with Facebook Messenger, I think, has been very have been very effective ad formats that have rolled out in that. Uh, I don't think they've had a negative impact on usage of Facebook Messenger at all. So I think they figured it out with Facebook Messenger. I think they're going to apply those lessons now to WhatsApp. Okay, Mark, great stuff. Thanks very much, Mark Mahaney.